course, academic writing, essays is difficult. You have to use the structures and vocabulary for that. Academic writing again, because you can't use uh, lots of words and you always have to look for them. Like you can't write uh, about yourself. Like I don't know, you can't write this. And this is really difficult because most of my time I write, I think, I do, I did, and it's difficult for me. Well, actually, I took files so long ago, so I don't really remember all the all the parts of files. But I I feel like that to to write the IELTS writing part, you have to know the idea behind all these uh, writing parts because it's not just a, a regular writing that you take and you can write like a story for yourself or something. You have to know the rules. You have to know uh, the criteria that you will be marked later. So you, you have to know all these things and I feel like you cannot learn them yourself. You have to have a teacher or like a, uh, someone who can help you and explain you all these rules and all these criteria. Um, well, it depends on the type of writing. Uh, in essays uh, or letters, I do feel quite comfortable, but for example, in Niles, um, when I was uh, writing a task about describing graphs or uh, some schemes, uh, it was awful. <laughs> um, uh, I really don't know because when you need to do this task really fast, it's quite hard to understand what you need to describe, what is the most important and what is not so significant. So, yep. From the IELTS, I don't really like this part when you have to describe the graphs and everything because you have to use certain words and certain vocabulary and just stick to the criteria and that's something that I'm not very good at. For me, it first part graphs and all that kind of stuff because you kind of need to like stick to the uh, visuals and kind of describe it in kind of dry official language and like be efficient and productive with your information. Uh, so it's kind of tough. It's like not really my thing.